Hey guys, come back for an episode of Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. Last episode we did a asteroid field, I think. We actually got to meet two war robots and someone called Tywin. And we also actually got a new upgrade which allows us to actually break down stuff. But we're going to be going to our planet Aradolis to chase down some pirates to try to find out the secret of the Lomb... Well, the Lombax's secret. So we're heading straight there. There's actually three gold bolts here. Let's head straight over there. So the plot right now, I don't know where it's going to take us because there's so much stuff happening. I'm a bit confused. <laughs> like, I know we're meeting up with a lot of different people and stuff, but we don't really know how we're going to stop um, Tachyon, and we don't know uh, his main agenda. I know he wants to get the secret weapon, he wants to get revenge for the Lombax ending the Kragmites, but other than that, we don't really know anything more about his agenda. Like, is there any story behind it? But we're going to be going to the pl the pirate base. I'm going to say planet base then. The pirate base. Okay. So it looks like, uh, I think Tywin's going to meet us here, Tywin Lannister, so we're going to probably head straight over there, right now. Okay, let's have a look around here. Do we have any new weapons to find to start with? And we do, we have the Buzz Blades and the Nano Swarmers. And guess what, we're going to buy both because we've actually got enough money, yeah. We're also going to go and level up our, let's just see what we're going to level up. Um, I want to level up the Tornado Launcher a bit, I don't know where, where's the whip? Okay, I'm going to finish leveling up the whip, I think I'm going to do it by... Weapon. Oh, we still don't have enough Raritanium. Ah, uh, it's alright. It's alright then. I want to have a look around here if there's any gold balls. This is where I would put a gold ball right at the start. I feel like that's what we're doing at least one of the Ratchet Clank uh, planets in each game. They've got to put a gold ball like right near spawn, so, 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 so you don't really think it. By the way, these are actually pirates. They, like, they're actually robot pirates. Like, online pirates. What would you call them? They're not online pirates, but you guys know what I mean. Um, what would you call them? What would you call them? Also, no idea what that is. What would you call them? Space Pirates, that's the right, right word. Oh god, I actually didn't even realise it was there. Okay, I don't know how I feel about Space Pirates, by the way. Um, I'm wondering, is Space Pirates essentially going to be... Oh, the helipod can raise the grind rail. Oh, okay, now we're talking. Okay, so I can use this, and this is the one we actually got in the war zone area. Can we grind on it? No, we have to wait until it's up. That's annoying. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering if the Pirates are going to be the main focus of the second game, the Quest for Booty, because that does seem very Pirate-esque, doesn't it? Like, I know it might, it might not be, but I think it does sound very piratey. So, yeah. By the way, I'm loving the the idea of the helipods. I think it's such a cool weapon. Uh, well, not weapon, gadget, you know. Having to use it just to actually get around, it's it's really cool, by the way. Is there any gold balls around here? There's actually something over there, but I don't know if that's actually relevant. Okay, let's just grind it. I'm loving, I'm loving this, like, gadget. I really think it really works very well. Like, it's something which you, you don't really think you need, and then... Yeah, you do need it. You do need it. Okay, um, looks like there's going to be more of it over here, but let's just kill these guys. So, so can we just use more per ones, or is it just one beat? Ah, oh, it's just one per area then. Okay, so we have to kind of throw one in, then jump. I don't know if we actually get altitude when we do this. It looks like we do get a bit of altitude for some reason. Okay, I was hoping we would actually land this. Come on, come on. Come on, fly. Oh, what? That should have easily saved me. That should have saved me easily. But yeah, I do think this is such a unique weapon, like... No weapon, gadget, because you don't really see a gadget like this this often, like, one can actually change the terrain, it's it's pretty rad, isn't it? Like, I think it's one of the best gadgets so far in the entire series, from what I've seen. It's just because it's so unique and dynamic, I want to see can I actually use this to actually get up top. Is there going to be something up here? Yeah, there is some Raritanium! Buzz in, get some more of that Raritanium, might actually be able to level up one of our weapons soon. Let's pull out our, um, Tornado Launch, and then we're going to use some Shock Ravager, I think. Let's see how much damage it does against the Pirates, it does quite a bit of damage, it actually pretty much wrecks them. And uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that's a bad thing, cause more the merrier. Oh my god, this area seems massive, don't you think? Like, I, I think I'm actually gonna go this way to start with. Okay, c can we use two or three? Maybe can we get get another one over there? Maybe on that one. Can we get that? Okay, what's this gonna do? It's gonna create a little ship, and it's, oh, it's gonna allow us to actually go through here. Um, is there any point in this? I don't think there is. Oh wait, unless we can, we can use to get up top. Maybe, maybe there's actually something above, which could be the case. They, they, that definitely looks a bit funky, doesn't it? Uh, can we get on top? Or do we have to use the... We have to, ooh, we can get on top. What does that do? Anything? Can we kind of get higher, maybe? No, okay, that's that's literally for nothing. I, I was thinking there might have to be something over there. By the way, the, the theme song right now reminds me of like Pirates of the Caribbean, which is always another good thing. And by the way, more Raritanium for us can never go wrong with Raritanium. Especially this early on in the game when we don't really have... Oh, God. Okay, okay, I'm kind of glad I didn't actually fall in there. Oh, wait, wait. I understand now. I understand. We're going to use it as a ship to actually get... Ah, I see. I'm not going to lie. That's really cool. That is really cool. Another cool addition with the gadget. We're going to use this as kind of like a ship to actually get across. We're going to stand on this, and then the breeze, I'm guessing, is going to blow us over there. Yeah. How epic is this? We're doing our slingshot out here. I'm guessing it's going to, like, stay up for a certain amount of time. But I don't know, like... 
This gadget is so well... Oh, oh my god, I almost died then. This gadget is so well made, like... I don't know, it's the little things, isn't it? It really is. Oh, more raritanium as well. It looks like the pirates actually over here would kind of hunting down here. Actually, uh, link to the raritanium, don't you think? Okay, more of these guys, by the way, get wrecked, son. I don't know, it's like, it's the little things, isn't it? So, uh, if you don't know, today I've actually been spending time with my girlfriend, as per usual, I normally talk about this, doing let's plays and stuff when I'm actually getting around. Uh, we actually went out for our Christmas meal together, because if you don't know, we're not going to be together at Christmas. Well, by that I mean, we're still going to be together, but uh, she's going to be with her family, I'm going to be with mine, so it's kind of like, we don't really get that much time together, and when we do, I want to make sure it, well, it, it counts, you know. So we've been doing that quite a bit, and... Uh, don't get me wrong, I love that by the way, it's got, there's a gold bolt right there, buzzing, okay, I'm just going to wait for this to actually die down, and we're going to use that to actually get up there, easy enough, that's the first gold bolt, to be honest, it's not even that hidden away, uh, fine by me, let's just go up and get it, and boom, so I've been doing that quite a bit today, to be honest, I almost fell then, so I'm kind of like, locked it straight in there, uh, so I've been doing that today, I've opened our presents together, because we much rather open presents when we are together than on his own, because it's kind of like, the, the reaction you get, you know, it's, it's always a good thing, yes, um, Santa will be uh, visiting us in our, in our own houses, for our parents, you know, I mentioned that a lot, like, we don't really spend, like, holidays and that together, but, you know, there's nothing really we can do about it, by the way, what, why, I didn't even know why we need to shoot those, but we did anyway, some kind of leeches, I guess, um, so yeah, we're gonna be, uh, we did that, and I think we're gonna watch some movies tonight, more than anything, uh, just some Christmas movies to get in the mood, because she's, she's going home in two or three days, and I'm staying at the flat for another week and a bit, just because deadlines and uni work and stuff, and she hasn't really got any reason to stay, other than me, and I don't want to keep her here, because, it's kind of like she doesn't drive and I do, and it's, it's easier for me to get home than she is. So, uh, she should be going home earlier, and I'm going to be studying for literally until day before Christmas, which is crazy. By the way, what the hell is this? Some kind of iPad? Uh, maybe some Nano? And Oh, it's an armor magnetizer. Ah, so... So, what? Oh, it, it can attract bolts. Okay, okay. That's cool. I'm actually kind of glad I've got that. It's pretty much the, blo uh, the ball grabber from the previous game, so... There we go. It's nice to have. It really is much gone full circle. Let's try out our nano swarmers here. Let's uh, put it down here. Uh, come on and get me. Come on. Come on and get me. Come on and get me. Okay. I'm not going to lie. This area seems very cool. Very, very cool. Ooh, what, what the hell? Um, okay, there's a pirate over here and he doesn't seem happy. Ooh, he's shooting at me. He's shooting at me. What the hell? Let's try our buzz blades here. Okay. Okay, seems very much like an S SMG. It's an SMG but uses buzz blades. And by the way, that is very, very noisy. Okay, we don't need any gadgets. It's nice to have the option, but we don't need them. I wanted some new armor. I don't know when we're actually going to get more armor in this game. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I almost just fell straight off there. Okay, let's get some more bolts. You can never have too many bolts, eh? Never, you can never have too many. So, boom, bam. So, I've been doing that quite a bit today. We've actually been for a meal out. I had a pizza. Uh, as you do. Oh, we can actually use the cutter ray over here on this geo, the geo laser, which, by the way, still stand by. This is epic as hell. Like, having to use a laser just to get around. It's kind of like Snake. You know, it... It's very fluid and it works very well. Oh god, we missed one. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. It opened it up anyway. And we're in the Sal Sal Sardador. What? Sardolo Caves. There we go. Something like that. That's, that's a very weird word to spell, isn't it? Cat star. And in the vicinity, bounties up to 20 quid and a new rotator socket. So it looks like there's a bounty on our head of 20 quid. It's very English oriented. I'm guessing it's like 20 bucks in America. I've I'm guessing they've kind of changed a little bit. Ooh, more of these guys. Okay, let's try our Shard Reaper a bit. The Shard Reaper is getting closer, but I, I kind of don't want it to level up to the max yet. You know, because it's a good weapon. I kind of want to save it to when we really need it. I think I'm actually going to go back to the Buzz Blades, because I like the Buzz Blades. It's, it, the lock-on mechanics of the Buzz Blades is fantastic. It does so much. Ooh, preempted strike. Okay, we actually get a lot of um, good old um, Raritanium for that. I'm guessing it's like a Raritanium case. Ooh, God. More of these guys around here, so... Nice to have. You can never have too much raritanium, like I always mention. By the way, I do feel like bolts in this game is just so easily accessible. Like, we literally rode up to 10k. Um, and we literally just bought everything in the in the shop. Only recently, that's... It just shows how quick you can actually, like, get money in a Ratchet Clank game if you really... And there's a lot around. I feel like in this game, there is a lot of them. A lot of them. I'm guessing there's going to be some pirates around here then, isn't there? Yep. There we go. We've got some shields, but, you know, the buzz blades should still end them. There we go. So I love the idea of the shield, how you can get like a bit of a sneak attack on them, like if you aim from like before they even appear, you can get a massive like, a, m a massive amount of damage off. By the way, the pirates here are pretty weak. By the way, some more raritanium here. Let's go and pop it and get those raritanium. Boom, bam. Thank you very much. Okay, and that's going to give us another 500 raritanium. Wow, okay. I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing about that. 
Okay. Oh, the geo laser. We can use the geo laser here, isn't it? Oh, what the hell? Some kind of cocoon, I guess. Uh, let's try it. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, there's more um, pirates, I guess. But it's gonna create a little platform. Is anything in the waterfall uh, over here? No, it doesn't like the risk. Okay. Um, I'm, I always like to look around, you know, and explore because we are in some um, a cavernous based area here, which by far is pretty cool. I like it. I like it. I really like the environments in this game. Like. They are so different and they're so unique. It, it's it's really cool. Okay, buy ammo and uh, I'm gonna go and level up my shock ravenger a bit more. Okay, let's get some more bolts in here. You, you can you can you can never have too many bolts. And what's that? A voltage multiplayer. Boom bam. Wait, oh, wait. Do we have enough? Yeah, we do. We've actually leveled up our shock ravenger now, which is fantastic. That means I can actually use that a bit more. I know I spent quite a bit on the shock ravenger, but I love the whip based weapons in a Ration Clan game. There's no doubt about it. Like I do feel like they are the best weapons of the game, but for, for me at least. Um, I think I went over that in the arena levels. That I like the ooh, more geo laser stuff. Okay, I like how that we're actually we're using this so much. By the way, where the hell is Tywin? Tywin Lannister, where the hell is she? Where's she gone? Isn't it Tywin McGee or something? I don't know. But there we go. It's gonna open up as a new area. Oh my god, so many pirates here. Uh, it's a bit nerve wracking, isn't it? I don't know how I'm gonna deal with all these. I feel like we'll be, we'll be fine. Yes, we are an intruder. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Okay, we're gonna use our whip here. Come on then, bring it on, bring it on. We've got our shock moy player on. You're gonna all gonna get wrecked here. Come on, come on. Let's just pick up our bolt moy player as well, which is gonna add on. By the way, these guys are getting getting wrecked here. It's one thing I love, like how about the whip against melee based weapon, uh, melee based enemies. Like they just get absolutely wrecked. Uh, we two, we, we three shot in these guys, so it's not too bad. And we've actually got a bit of a multiplayer going on, which is also also a good thing here. By the way, the shot ravenger. He's getting, again, got a lot of experience there, which is always a good thing. Let's uh, use our Predator launch here, get some more, and pull out our Tornado launch, because I want to get that a bit of experience as well. Unless I totally missed, which I just did. That's also good, too. Uh, but either way, there we go. Ooh, I'm not going to lie, the fusion uh, grenades are pretty weak. Oh, God, more of them. Okay, let's get them at the spawn point, then. Okay, you're all going to get wrecked at the spawn, anyway. Get wrecked, okay. I think now we should pull out the, the, the Shard. The Shard Reaper. And get wrecked, sons. Okay, I feel like that's where we need to go. So I'm gonna kind of have a look around here before we actually head in there. Because you never know, there could be a gold ball around here. The more gold balls we get, the easier it will be to actually come back through, you know? That's one thing I hate about doing blind let's plays. Because I like to get everything and you can easily miss something. Especially if you're going for 100% like we are here. So it's not ideal. By the way, the more ammo we get, the better. I'm sure it's some more shock ravenger ammo, but... Yeah, it's way up top, by the way. Like, how did the hell did those guys get up there? I was like, can't wait to use, um... Where is it? Where is it now? Our uh, buzz blades here. Do you think we can use our buzz blades to get up there? No, I don't, I don't think we can actually get those up there. Sadly. Okay, we'll just leave and head to the next room then. Anything in here? Nope. Ooh, what the hell is that? Okay. Okay, so in electrified enemies, I really feel like they are kind of pushing electrified enemies massively in this game, which isn't a bad thing, by the way. I just feel like they are doing it. Quite a bit. Oh, oh, more of these guys. Fine by me. Bring it on. Eat my buzz blades, boys. Okay, do we have any more? I hope we got some more shock ammo for our whip. We do actually have. Yes. Okay, come on down then. C come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Okay, there we go. That's going to give us level 3 on our shock ravenger. Fantastic. By the way, still love it. I love how, like, it's got really good range. It, like, well, it hasn't got great range, but it does the job, doesn't it? Also, this guy over here is driving me insane. But I now take upgrade. Ended him pretty fast. Okay, let's pick up some more. Good old money. By the way, the bolt grabber. I'm gonna call it the bolt grabber. I know it's not a bolt grabber. Grabber. It's like the armor magnetizer. It works really well, doesn't it? Okay. So what do we do on this? Oh, it's a lift. Okay. So that's where we start off. Oh, I thought that was an enemy there. <laughs> kind of scared me a little bit. Okay, let's go on in. C can we just jump on this? Yep. There we go. I'm just gonna head in. Maybe Tywin's in here. Oh, like there's a lot of gold either way. We found it. But. What is it? Quick, hide! It's a land of a pirate evermore! <laughs> what be that foul smell? Hi. That oyster chili be disagreeing with me something fierce. No, there be a yet fouler smell. One I not be smelling for nigh six hundred moons. Oh, fresh trousers. Oh. 
of Vax. Rouse the lads, Rusty Pete. Tonight our foes taste the cat's tail. Hey, Rust Bucket! Catch! Ah! Skewer that saucy wench! Aye, Captain! Skewer in! Ah! Me wee cannonballs! Isn't that like the pirates who kind of hijacked us before? But Tywin came in and saved the day there, which is always a good thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the guy who uh, kind of attacked us a while back. You know, the space pirate. I love how, like, everything's linked in this universe. Like, nothing ever happens for a reason. And I love that, you know. It's all the, always the little things that happen. So, it looks like the pirate was obviously linked to something to do with the Lombaxes. By the way, I don't know how I actually made it up here. I love how, like... How high we actually got here. That's fantastic. Um, so it looks like, obviously, the pirate captain knew something about us. He knew what a Lombax smelled like. So does that make... That, that mainly makes me wonder. Does he actually know the entire backstory then, maybe? Oh, where's this going to take us? Is this going to take us back to the start? I think it is. Okay. Um, okay, that's a bit annoying. But I think we're going to actually end it here, actually. Like, I know it's been, like, 15 minutes. But I think next time we're going to go and continue on with this planet. We've got a lot more t to do, as you can see. Uh, we've got all this area to explore over there. I guess there's going to be some kind of boss fight, but we'll be doing that next time. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give a like. We really appreciate it, and I shall see you guys next time for more. Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. We're going to complete the rest of this level and uh, chase down the pirates. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.